Hey everybody, uh, just got um, my oil pump primed and pretty much ready to go. I had some issues with it and I thought I would share it with you guys um, because this is my first time doing it and I was trying to play it on the safety factor um, and not wanting to blow my sled up the first time out. So I uh, got my tank mounted, all my lines run and when you when you get the tank your tank on, your tank filled up, um, you're gonna want to crack your bleeder screw and let the oil trickle down and, t and put a rag down there um, until the oil starts falling down onto the onto the rag, and uh, that that way you know your pump is getting oil. And uh, so once you have that, tighten it back up, start the sled up. I had my secondary clutch off and the belt off, and I had a long screwdriver and. On this sled, you can um, you can stick the screwdriver down in there and hold the pump wide open while your sled idles. Um, I did it by myself. It's a lot easier with two people. That way, you're not right in the way of the clutch with no guard on it. Kind of creeps me out, but because um, I'm afraid of it blowing up, even though it shouldn't. So once I had the sled started, uh, I held the pump wide open and I revved the sled up. Having premix in the tank, you, you're going to want to have premix in it, otherwise your, your sled's not going to run. But, so, screwdriver in there, holding the pump wide open, and then revving it up. And my, my concern was, um, I had everything off again after I did that, and I noticed that my lines going from the pump to the carburetors were full. And I had run it probably five minutes or so uh, yesterday, and... And I came back to it because I wanted to mess with it some more. And I had noticed that this PTO line wasn't full, wasn't bled all the way, I guess you could call it. And uh, so I kind of kept my eye on it, got the flashlight down in there, and I saw that there was oil in the line, but it was probably five or six inches away still. So um, holding the pump wide open, I was revving it. You could see the oil pulse up through that line, and. Uh, finally get, get into the motor. And I think that was my longest line um, throughout the whole uh, oil injection system. So with that being said, I would safely assume that all the lines have, have the bubbles out of them, or at least all the lines have the oils going, going to the check valves. Um, and which means in my eyes, I'm gonna be safe to go ride this with the premix that I have in it. Obviously it's not gonna rub out all the way because because it's uh, getting too much oil. But um, I should be safe. And if you guys have any questions, you guys can message me on it uh, on Facebook or comment on the video. Uh, overall, this was a very hard process to do, um, as in getting your hands down in there, getting the pump on, and make sure all the lines. Okay, sorry, I had a phone call. So this is, this is pretty difficult um, with the with the motor in the sled and getting all the lines on. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is put all the lines on the pump and uh, go go to the auto parts store and get three millimeter line and get about six foot of it just so you have extra of everything. Once you get them all in there, then you're gonna, uh, um, you wanna have extra and then that way when you're mount, mounting them or running your wires or the lines, you can cut them the length that you need to have it. But if I were to do this all over again, I would pull the motor out of the sled, put them on to make sure everything's good, um, to get all the, the the clamps on all the, the lines, which I didn't do. Um, they, I put them on and took one off and it was pretty difficult. So I'm gonna risk it on that portion of it. Um, there might be a chance that I will be doing the 800 top end swap, but that probably won't be until uh, next winter. Um, this was a big enough task do I mean it's very minor but um, in the big scheme of things but it was it's all essentially has taken up a lot of time so um, with that being said uh, this is pretty much uh, the last of, of uh, all my tasks and it's been fun and I enjoyed it it was very fun and hopefully uh, it's December 28th and we it's 47 degrees out today and it's raining we have zero snow. Um, 
but luckily one of the local lakes is froze so if we do get a little bit of snow i'd like to take it out there to test my jetting see where i'm at with that and um, go out and at least put some time on this thing shake it down i i don't really want to go on my first ride with this up in the up because uh, or on a long trip i'd rather have it here home that that way if something does happen i'm not out of a trip and um and I'll be able to bring it back home and work on it. So anyways, uh, I'm going to finish this video up and then I'll do a walk around video uh, with everything on it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So thanks for watching and uh, click subscribe if you like what you see.